All right, let's watch this in full here. There is no sound. That's cute. Ding, ding, ding. Whoa. Ah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. I think my main impression is I love that we have little entrance and are immediately there. You might argue that coming in like this, it feels like the eyeline is right there, but then he's like, huh, surprised. Or is that a surprise that someone's coming and I need to hide? To me, it feels more like Oh, that's where the food is. But then he comes in, it or she, whatever. Immediately looking at it. So this is gets, you know, this thinking out loud, me being, you know, maybe not the smartest in, in reading all of this, but I think it could be interesting for the creature to come in, but either more just the head and an arm, or the head here with an arm around here, where it's more like I'm looking over there with a broader head turn going to this, going, ah, that's where it is. Then goes over there. And then the thing is, then the creature has another, huh? Where it's like, what is that reaction to? And that feels like it's looking over this way. Goes over there. Definitely a closer look. Checking one more time. Anybody there? But then here checking again and i think that's my main impression there's a lot of checking there's a ha huh, ha huh, over there ha huh, ha huh, again over there check again and then over there check again that's probably the main impression that i have apart from the awesomeness of using space and especially the contrast of starting here and ending there i like all of that so i think my my main impression or my main comments would be subjectively to get him into like i want to get in here like and then looks around and oh, now he he saw it or it's it saw the creature saw the food then it becomes more about well i gotta make sure that no one sees me and then you can add some more contrast because now it's a jump it's a jump and then it's low but the thing is i would probably this is just a destructive note but just thinking out loud goes in there i think i would do a quick jump and then hide completely then just have an eye come out go back and we don't quite know what's going to happen and then do like a swimmy because we see the body more than here there's more to show off you can do a fun little wavy creaturey because at this point the, it, the creature doesn't know if anybody's over there that's why i would go quick hide and now the creature looked and checked, okay, well, there's no one here. And this could be a almost breaking the creature movement of walking, tiptoeing, licking fingers, getting ready type of thing. Of course, this thing about going low here, I'm biased because, hold on, because I did the clip a long time ago where a character, you know, sneaks, turn the sound off here, it's jazz music, we copyrighted. Sneaks in and then looks and then as a surprise is way low. And the big reveal is is in the shadow with the the, the feet doing that. This is why you're like, oh, it would be fun to replicate this. But I think it would be fun surprise. You would see more in terms of showing off the creature. Whereas here you don't see much right there. And then at the end... I'm just not sure what he's looking at because it's all the same. Unless he's looking at what's the best part. So I think this could be... I mean, he could pick one up. Not sure. Pick another one up. Not sure. Oh, this one. This one must be the one. Or it could be something where it's no looking around because we've done all the looking here. And this is just pure acting of I can't way to try this this must be awesome and maybe it's more like the way the creature picks it up and and maybe you go into full detail uh, full profile open up the mouth and i don't know if the creature has a tongue it's a big tongue um you know maybe it's like instead of one like this it's more 
I need to taste this. And what's the weirdest way this creature could taste it? Could it be, you know, profile, the tongue comes out and it's just kind of licking the outside or the big nostrils big up and and he sniffs the thing and puts almost half of it into its nose to, mm, that's not too bad. And then the tongue, the lick, mm, okay. Then, then it eats and then realize, oh, okay, this is really good. And then in there, because also when you do the whole thing kind of more profiley, then when you get into this, it's more like profile to three quarter where you have a big turn. It, it makes that oh, even bigger. And that is awesome. I love all of that. And I'm going to assume this was Sim. Because <laughs> that would be a massive pain to animate. It's also a bit soft. They feel like cotton balls. So I will probably give that a bit more weight and speed. But then it, it also has a slight feel of this creature just goes in and just moves everything around and at the end didn't really eat too much. Where it's almost like... Phew, and that's the only... You know, I would lessen... This is very subjective. I would lessen the amount of them so that at the end it's not so much. You only have a few... And then you can have during this here, you could see all of them in there and it's still eating. Nom, 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 got crumbs falling out and he just ends up eating a lot. This just feels like I just pushed everything away and I didn't really eat that much at the end. That could be something. And after all of that, again, subjective, but since the creature liked this so much, right? Ah! Oh. Another thing could be is that less of them, right? Eats, turns around. And I like that you gotta turn around all of this. What if at the end, I'm, it's a, such a destructive note, but for contrast, you can see how this thing twirls around and then you end up with the creature actually leg up like this. Ah! Oh. Oh, like, oh, I ate everything, but still turning, you know, on its back, turning around, the feet are up and turns around, and at the end lays, you know, whatever, mouth this way or this way, could be this way, whatever it is, right? Oh, oh, this was great. Arm hanging, feet out, oh, this was great. So you go from contrast of straight, you know, tension, I got... I got to do all those things. So much energy. You got to be very careful. And there's excitement. And at the end, it's, oh, it's just floppy and flat. So you go from contrast in terms of like the line and all that good stuff. Anyway, very subjective. And I know that's that's very destructive. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, you pay me to tell you things. As always, you can just take whatever you um want to take out of this and actually i'm just seeing at the end here you did the vfx at the end using my uh, mash okay okay i didn't quite finish an email there i guess huh um but yeah that's it a lot of subjective and, uh, and destructive notes there but it's super fun to watch i i really like it i like the idea of the set the creature what it's doing all of that is really good stuff i love it also when you go ah could also curl the tail up for like oh and you could almost maybe that could be too cliche almost go dog like and starts to wag its tail could be but i think it could be fun to treat this also as a bit of an emotional extension of everything just goes up also i don't know if you have i've never animated this guy if you have controls over these so it's a bit more like a lizardy thing that goes back so that when the excitement happens, then you straighten this. Like everything in his body goes, Bing! this is fantastic. And then you can go back and keep it down and all that stuff. Anyway, that's it. I would say that's it, but that's it. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.